to the priest before we went up there. He's like, hey, I love your suit. I'm like, thank you. He's like, what type of shoes are those? And I'm like, Gucci. And he's like, I love them. Well, he said, it's not the shoes. It's the man wearing the shoes. I said, I like that. Yeah. Hey, hey, look, everybody with it. Eyes super heavy, I move it steady right through the city, lift it. My foot up on the gas, get a better way or watch you on the Michelin. Ties tied away, better ride that or you swimming with the fish. Spaceship is coming, my base steady rumbling. I'm facing my drugs, so I space my problems. It's coming together, I'm pacing my steps, and it's so crazy. Y'all patience and time and work, yo, it's a fact I'm true to this shit. You could tell by the rap, I'm truly gifted. Look, no lie, I'm high. Perp smoke all in my eyes. I could barely see you through the shady shade on my shine. You focus on my step, you moving backwards. I promise you lose me in the process. Then I pop up on you like I die. One side, my side, you ride it, you die. Choose wise, shoot for the star. And I ain't missing 10 for 10 like my shoe size. Send me up, I'm here to stay. I play for keeps till I'm gone. They like what he on. I've been in my zone, dog. And you should know that I get mine. Yeah, you get yours. Yeah, who gon' ride? What you do it for? While this wedding is a bit different than anticipated, looking at the glow on Michelle and Jeff's face, it was all worth the wait to be here celebrating with the closest friends and family. Throughout all of the changing plans, it has become so clear that their love for each other is what matters most. I think one of my favorite things about being the youngest child is the honor of seeing my older siblings grow. It's a strange and beautiful thing to have an opportunity to sort of preview your life's next chapters and moments. And they're not about all of our paths are yet identical. Similar lessons are learned and challenges conquered. I truly believe there is so much beauty and growth. And with Michelle and Jeff, I've seen such incredible growth, not just as individuals, but as a couple. Each stage of their relationship, it has been so evident. Their love has strengthened. In each milestone of their lives, I've, been, I've seen them encourage, uplift, and motivate each other to be more than ever imagined. And it's not just the big moments they have exemplified this. It's the simplest mundane moments where they're out for a run, <laughs> telling each other about their days, <laughs> or playing a game of backgammon. <laughs> the support and love they have for each other really shine through.
What a magical day and an incredible evening. Michelle, did you ever imagine we'd be standing here under the twinkling lights in a garden lake forest on your wedding day? When we were little, Michelle had an infatuation with planning and an excitement <laughs> that was contagious about events. Trailing a line <laughs> alongside our sister Michelle on every family walk at Independence Grove, Jean and I would race to keep up as she sped through every last detail of her wild itinerary. <laughs> Whether it was swimming with dolphins on our upcoming trip to Naples, Florida, or the fancy hors d'oeuvres she was planning to, uh, to uh, serve on her birthday bath at bash of the century. We hung on to every word she said until we heard it for the 20th walk in a row. <laughs> Although many of these wild plans never came to fruition, we were so, we are so honored to be standing by her side today as she and Jeff embark on the biggest event of their lives. While this wedding is a bit different than anticipated, looking at the glow on Michelle and Jeff's face, it was all worth the wait to be here celebrating with the closest friends and family. Throughout all of the changing plans, it has become so clear that their love for each other is what matters most. I think one of my favorite things about being the youngest child is the honor of seeing my older siblings grow. It's a strange and beautiful thing to have an opportunity to sort of preview your life's next chapters and moments. And though not all, all of our pasts are identical, similar lessons are learned and challenges conquered. I truly believe there is so much beauty in growth. And with Michelle and Jeff, I've seen such incredible growth, not just as individuals, but as a couple. Each stage of their relationship, it has been so evident their love has strengthened, and each milestone of their lives, I've, in, I've seen them encourage, uplift, and motivate each other to do more than ever imagined. I came across this poem and wanted to share it with all of you on this special day. Fall in love with the art of living. Fall in love with letting things be. Fall in love with listening. Be still in the sun where the winds ever gently blow, knowing it is here in moments like this you are living and you will grow. Michelle and Jeff, thank you for being such a genuine and honest, beautiful example of what love can be. Get your ass in the car. <laughs> <laughs> wow, ready, ready that dress Thank looks you. great. Thank you. Let's go. <laughs> you don't have time to dwell. I yeah. definitely didn't have. I didn't even think about it. I, I thought. I thought we were out of the pandemic. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I thought the pandemic was over. <laughs> Sometimes. Yeah. I forgot. Gotta bend the rules. I like realized it right as we walked in. And I was like, I'm so sorry. And now we're fashionably late. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, to the love of my life, what an unbelievable nine years it's been. I remember the first time I met you in my fo foothill apartment, <laughs> in my foothill apartment, and talking with you in the kitchen over buckets of ice cream. Although, you, although I'm extremely forgetful, that's one memory that I remember vividly. Your blue eyes, southern accent, and tan skin combo drew me in, and I just knew I had to be with you. I swear to God, after you left, I told Megan that I was gonna marry you. Talk about speaking things into existence. <laughs> 
You've stuck by my side always. And you chose to transfer back to UNC, but asked for my opinion and included me even back then. I remember you told me you loved me on May 24th, 2012, for the first time after I was crying because you weren't coming back to Utah. <laughs> I, can't believe we I can't believe we talked every day, not knowing when we'd see each other again, and still kept the same excitement and attraction. I'll never forget how excited I was for you to come visit that winter. God brought us together and has kept us together so many times in our life. Who would have thought that my job in Salt Lake City with U.S. Airways would have led, to me, led me to North Carolina with you? I've loved every stage of our relationship because even the tough times have led us to better ones. On our honeymoon phase lasted longer than anyone else's I know, which says a lot about us. Thank you for being you. Be you or be you. <laughs> even when you annoy me, I still love that you're you. I love your motivation, work ethic, persistence most of the time, and intelligence. I fully believe you can do anything you set your mind to. I love how you're caring, understanding, and so loving. I see all of the many good traits you have and accept the not so great ones because that's what you do for me. Through our whole relationship, you've accepted me and my family and all of our differences. Thank you for exposing me to yours and teaching me all about Southern food, black etiquette, and a completely different English language. <laughs> I love our differences and I'm so thankful that we'll be able to expose our children to each of our cultures, traditions, and backgrounds. I can't wait to start a family with you, mostly because we're going to have the most adorable kids <laughs> ever, but also because I can't wait to see you become a father. From the beginning, I knew you'd be the most I, I knew you'd be the best one. You'll be so loving and involved, probably way too pushy and persistent, but you have me to even you out. I know our differences get in the way at times, but that's one of the many reasons I think we're perfect for each other. I will always be here for you. I will always be loyal to you because you've taught me what loyalty means. I will always try to make your life better, more peaceful, more positive, and bring happiness to our relationship. I will always try to be understanding even if I don't agree with you. I will always try to help you achieve your dreams by working hard and educating myself. I will always make decisions in the best interest for our family. I will always do my best to remain healthy so I can live our life as long as God allows us to. I will always love your family and treat them as my own. I will always do my best to take care of our future family and provide a positive, loving, and calm, calm home environment. I will always include God in our lives and relationship. We will get through anything and everything life throws our way. I can't believe how lucky I am to be able to marry you and soon to call you my husband. I couldn't have dreamed of a better person to spend the rest of my life with than you. I love you, I can't wait to marry you, and I'm so very thankful for you. Oh. <laughs> and may Almighty God bless all of you who are gathered here the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to present to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Battle. Married. We're Finally. married. Yeah, yeah. It took so much time and effort, but it's good to like finally get there, you know? Both. <laughs> and, and COVID's in. Supposed to get married in May, sep September of last year. Ryan, turn it okay. down. Jeff, were you nervous? Honestly, no. Like I think, I think I was nervous like in the hotel. Then like once you we were. got just a little bit like closer when we got closer, especially when I started being rushed a little bit. Anticipation. I'm just like listening, people. Then I about I'm not gonna lie, I about forgot the ring. Shockingly, I wasn't. I feel like ever since we got to Chicago and I got to stop planning this wedding, <laughs> I had just such a sense of like calm this whole time. I thought I was gonna cry too, you know. I probably will drink toast, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> right. I just 
just felt super calm. The ring, Jeff. Put the ring in the camera, Jeff. Mm. First married selfie. Oh. Bow, 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 bow. <laughs> Babe, how did you just get my face that in there? Good, though. That was good though. Jeff, how it feel? It feels weird. I'm telling you. I was talking about. I told him to start practicing wearing it like three months ago. You got something inscribed on your ring. Right? Yeah, I did. I did. Actually, I really did. So, well, Michelle did too. So, it both both of ours says Luke one one thirty seven. Um, and so, basically, what that saying is, for with God, nothing shall be impossible. So, you know, I think. I think anytime we're going through anything, and if there's any situation like or we're down or we're, if we're up, whatever it is, you know, we, we just believe that God got us. You know, we're good to go. Have a little faith, you know. You know what? Honestly, it's the the thing we wanted most was just time with our family. Like this was even before COVID. We just wanted time with our family and friends. <laughs> so that's what we've gotten. And yeah, just yeah, yeah just really, nice just really like relax. Yeah, just relaxing. The toast. We're gonna break. And that was like the whole thing is like we just wanted to have that time. Kind of So since the first time I met you in Utah, um, I, I truly knew that you were the one for me. I clearly remember telling each one of my close friends that were in Utah that I needed to find a way to get you to notice me. <laughs> <laughs> Little did I know you were already feeling the same way. Um, when I left to go to UNC, I truly did not know where we would end up, um, especially since you didn't even know where North Carolina was on the map. <laughs> <laughs> and so, you know, but once I was back in North Carolina, uh, my heart always kept pushing and going back to you. Um, and I truly believe we manifested that together and we ended up bringing our lives together and really speaking that into existence. Um, I remember I remember I used to tell my friends uh, who only met you once before, and I would always say I was going to propose to you in the Mafia Coast. And <laughs> as my friend Keija said, I didn't even know where that was at. It just sounded cool. <laughs> <laughs> but um, we actually did it exactly in the Amalfi Coast, which is really cool. So um, more than ever, um, I'm just happy I was able to watch you grow throughout these nine years uh, that we've been together. Literally from making you watch the biggest career decisions of your life, uh, trying to figure out if you want to stay with American or go with the NASCAR company, you obviously made the right decision. Um, and, you know, really, I think through your career decisions, it just really shows how much of a leader that you've grown to be and how you're going to continue to be a leader in our relationship. I, and, and really, I think the, the best qualities that you have that I really cherish is that you're just so compassionate. You're always willing to help out other people. Um, you're really genuine. And, um, you know, I, I just think there's not a time where you're not willing to put yourself, put others before yourself. So I, that's something that I truly love. Um, and then just for me, you've just always been there my entire life. Um, and that doesn't stop with me it, it, it goes to my family my friends just really anything that's been revolving around me you've always been willing to help um, you helped my best friend charles get a job uh, which you didn't have to do um, you helped my brother in countless occasions <laughs> um, which you didn't have to do so it just really kind of shows your heart and how good of a person that you are um, you know and as we plan this next phase in our life you know one of the some of the things that I'm really looking forward to is like our kids, our grandkids, Saint, <laughs> grown up. Uh, maybe another dog, you know, you know, uh, <laughs> um, you know, us planning out our, how, getting our new home, whatever it may be. Um, I'm really looking for you to take that leadership role as you always do and just continue just being you. Um, Cause I think that's what I love, right? And you're not changing that. Um, and, and also like, so just with both of us together, I just know we can make such a great positive impact on the world as we already planning to do yeah so I, I can't thank God enough for sending me to Utah for that one year so I can find my soulmate um, and also you know I really thank God that 
I messaged you about selling lessons. <laughs> <laughs> Although I didn't even know what that was. Um, you know, and I just want you, I just want you to know, like, you know, in our relationship, you know that I'm going to be loyal. Um, and I'm, I'm happy that we got to learn what loyalty mean, meant for each other um, as we went through our relationship. And um, also, I, you know, you know, I'm always going to be here for you at all times. Um, and I'll always be a number one fan, even when I'm critiquing you a lot and <laughs> you get mad at me. Just know it's good. You know, I'm doing it because I love you. And um, I'm always going to be there through all the ups and downs and all the hard decisions and all the times that you cry and all the times that you laugh and all the times that you're happy. I'll always be there for that as well. Um, so I love you so much and I'm just happy to call you my wife. Hmm. Mrs. Battle. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So babe, we're married. We finally did it. That's a wrap for the ceremony. On to the reception. I had the privilege of meeting Jeff during his freshman year at the University of Utah. <laughs> Michelle was so excited for me to meet this gorgeous boy with blue eyes who had the best personality. <laughs> Even before <laughs> and accent. <laughs> Even before they were dating, Michelle was his biggest advocate. We picked him up from his dorm at the U, and I swear, for the entire two hours we spent together, he said all of two words. <laughs> Needless to say, I was a bit skeptical after that first encounter, but over the past nine years, we've been lucky enough to see his true personality. From all of the family trips to Florida, the inaugural miking trip, <laughs> and reluctant family workouts, we can honestly say we are so excited to be gaining another brother and incredibly glad we were able to keep up. <laughs> I met Jeff in 2012. Uh, Carolina, he transferred from Utah, everybody knows that. Uh, we were at uh, like orientation, you know, and I, I was a walk-on, so I was really nervous. I'm like, God, like, I'm a walk-on, I'm not really supposed to be here. Jeff, with his pretty blue eyes and <laughs> white skin, he's, oh my gosh, he's a to die for. <laughs> Obviously, right? Somehow we connected, I don't know, it was just like love at first sight. <laughs> So, you know, we, we're walking, they're taking us on a tour of the dorms, and I'm like, what's up, man? Where are you from? He's like, L.A. I'm like, California, duh. <laughs> Lenore area, you know? So that's Lenore area, North Carolina. The country accent stood out, amongst other things. The fact that he was a lot bigger than everybody else. And I was like, why? How did you get so big? And then, of course, they lit, he lived weights for 12 months before he ever got to Carolina. But, uh... You know, my experience with Jeff, we were in Graham Dorn, and if you heard this story before, I apologize. We tell it every time we have, we get together and some not, somebody's new there, new there, we like, hey, this is how we met. All right, so we're in Graham Dorn, we moved in. He's a roommate with another special teams player. I'm roommates with maybe a kicker who ended up being the best kicker in the ACC at one point. <laughs> and I probably should have stayed with him. I'll be a lot further in my <laughs> career right now. But we connected, one, because we were competitors, and two, because uh, we had a good time going out to party, of course. <laughs> so my roommate, he didn't like to stay up late. Jeff liked to stay up late. His roommate didn't like to stay up late. And we decided that maybe it would be better if we switch, all right? And if I'm boring, you just go and take a nap, all right? So, <laughs> so me and Jeff, we were like, hey, maybe we should be roommates and they should be roommates, because it kind of works better. Our first real experience as best friends we ended up playing basketball one on one, and if you know Jeff, he's he, he has a way of getting under your skin. So he's like, he's like, hey man, let's let's bet five dollars. You can't beat me, man. You can't beat me. You can't beat me. I'm like, all right, let's bet five dollars. I know what I can do, you know. So we play one on one. The last move I hit him with, crossover, step back, game winner, knock it down. Right? It's time to pay up. He pays me in all quarters. That is the type of Jeff. That's the type of guy Jeff is. Right? All quarters. He found me the entire game. And I wanted to be upset about it until I had to pay for parking. I'm like, man, I'm glad I got these quarters. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Elijah Paddle. And I am the proud brother of the groom. On this wedding day, I am honored to be by his side as the man, the best man, that is. Sorry, Charles. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. <laughs> Jeff, Jeff, you know you made the right decision when you asked me to be your best man. 
<laughs> because growing up with you, you always knew I was the best in sports. The best. <laughs> I was the best in sports, the best looking, and the best in everything, honestly. You're going backwards. So, yes, I stand here as the man, your best man. Again. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> If I mentioned earlier how you always wanted the best in life, one of the ways you have shown is in the woman you have chosen, your wife. Michelle, you are beautiful, nice, and kind. And I can't think of anyone that I would rather have join our family or would rather be a better wife than my brother. Jeff, last but not least, it's been a joy watching you throughout many stages of life, whether good, or bad. Strive and grow to the best man I know outside our father. <laughs> really you have impacted my life in the most helpful way along the way. <sighs> Excuse me. Yeah I got you. Uh, by being there by being there for me as a big brother and the best and a best friend, Jeff you always helped me my self sense of humor and gave me an ego boost along the way. Even the times when you were the big brother bully. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> and try to play the role of our dad. <laughs> Jeff, you thought I wasn't listening? Just know that I heard you. But all jokes aside, as your little brother, you have shaped me into a better man. And I thank you and love you for caring and loving me as your little brother. Hey, Jeff, last but not least, remember, that God put this union together and everything you both do. Keep God first and foremost in your lives. On that note, let's raise our glasses and give a toast to Jeff and Michelle, his beautiful wife, to love, to laughter, to family, and the journey they are about to embark as Mr. and Mrs. Battle. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff is, has always been an inspiration to me uh, in terms of putting your goals in front of you and going for them. Let's talk about maybe the ceiling towel that was right above his bed that had a one dollar bill. It was a one dollar bill, but it had a bunch of zeros on it. Because TMM is the motto: is time. Time. It's time to make millions. T time to make millions. All right. Time to make millions. He's always had the vision. He had a vision board. He said he was going to get Saint before he ever got Saint. He said he was going to get a certain car. He got the car. He said he was going to get the beautiful girlfriend, wife, right? And that brings me to Michelle. So in the midst of us becoming roommates, he used to always brag about this beautiful girl that he talked to in Utah. And I'm just like, bro, come on. She's not all that, you know what I mean? She came to Carolina, I was like, Yo, you got one. <laughs> you got one. Hey, you got one. All right. So she comes to Carolina and she was everything and more from ordering pizza when we were broke is all get out of Carolina. I'm sorry. She didn't order pizza for Jeff, but she did. All right. I'm starving. He's getting pizza from Pizza Hut. I'm like, that look pretty good. <laughs> Michelle is, is caring. She's loving. She's honest. She's no, I'm not gonna say control. I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> she's a leader. She's a, she's she's a, she's everything you would want in a in a wife, in a sister, in a daughter. She is is everything and more. So of course I have to tell you my funny funny story about Michelle. And if you already heard it, India was not supposed to tell you this already. Right? Go ahead. Anyways, so look we're. Me and Jeff were roommates all four years. One, one of the years, I think maybe junior, maybe even senior, I don't know. Either way, it was life-changing. I'm walking from my dorm room, which is a, it's a room full of four people. The other two were never really athletes. They were always really smart and educated. They didn't like me. They liked Jeff because Jeff liked white movie. I didn't. Anyways, I'm walking to the restroom. I look in the doorway in Jeff's room. I'm going to give, give you a shout out. Jeff's dorm was always a lot better than mine. All right. He had... He had carpet, he had curtains, he had pillowcases. I didn't have those. He had a king bed. That's because he had a handicap room, and I never did. Don't ask me how he got a handicap room. Right. Anyway, so uh, 
I'm walking past the door, I look in there, they're watching a movie, because they like to watch movies, and all I hear is <laughs> I said, Jeff, that wasn't me. I said, that was not Michelle. Michelle peeks over the cover, she's like, Okay, I'm sorry. I only tell that because it lets you know that love is unconditional. <laughs> We're working on that. Me and India are working on a phase right now. She just, she, it's not so much unconditional for her because when I do it, it's not cool. All right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to go get up. I'm going to try to wrap this up at some point because I know we're under the time restrictions, but uh, Michelle, again, love and caring, sweet. Where I am in, in, in my career, uh, where, I, where we live geographically is all because of Michelle, right? I work for Norfolk Southern Railroad. I lost more strands of hair than I can count. The stress, I would have been as bald as Jeff Battle Sr. <laughs> Thank you. I would have been as bald as Jeff Battle Sr. right now. If it wasn't for Michelle, I was stressed out. I mean, life was not, you know, of course I've been through some tough times in my life, but that was a, a life-changing experience to have to work in that environment. And they saw me, we would FaceTime at 2 a.m. in the morning, because they was like, he's, he's working. I mean, I, and it's okay, I like to work. But they were like, you would be good in this environment, a different career, a different career path. And what you learn about somebody is what other people say about them without you even have to ask. I, I put it into my resume in an application at American Airlines, and they were like, Oh yeah, Michelle. Michelle said this about you, so we we know you're great. They haven't even met me yet. That says everything that it has to say about Michelle, the type of woman she is, the path, the, the steps that she take. You know, y'all know this. I'm not. I'm speaking to the choir. It's not like we have guests here that, that don't know. But you know, it's been about, nothing but a blessing to have a sister added to my side. Um, and you know, I want to leave y'all with with something. I did prepare something. <laughs> I know it seems like I just came here just off cuff, which I, I kind of did. Let's give you one more about Jeff. All right, so Jeff is a hard worker. Jeff is a really, really hard worker. Um, so hard, in fact, that, uh, no, he's a hard worker. Here, not with these, all right? He's the one that works smarter, not harder, all right? So, for example, while we're playing football, we both are trying to earn our scholarship putting in a lot of time on the field, a lot of time in the weight room, a lot of time in the classroom, both double majors. Econ and business, econ and communications, we pushed each other, we strove, we were striving to be the best in every aspect of our lives. Jeff also had a job while I had a job. I was working for AT&T. He was working as a security guard at Carolina. He's working for DPS, he's working for DPS, all right? He's working for DPS. But he's not actually securing anything. He's not. I come home from a long day, I'm studying or whatever, and he, as you know, he likes to watch movies. He's in his bed like this, fully dressed in a security outfit. I thought you had to work. Oh, I am working. I said, hey man, you probably should make sure you got the radio close to you. Oh, it's right here. So, again, I just wanted to let you know he works really, really hard. All right. One way or another. Thank you. I'm gonna leave you with a, with a, with a kind of quote and I'll leave you with a few more words. So, love, in, love isn't always perfect. And I've been told I can't read, so please bear with me. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> love isn't always perfect. It isn't a fairy tale or a storybook, and it doesn't always come easy. Love is overcoming obstacles, facing challenges, fighting to be together, holding on and never letting go. It is a short word, easy to spell. That's L-O-V-E, Elijah. <laughs> <laughs> Difficult to, to define, very hard to define, impossible to live without. It is, all right. Love is work, but most of all, love is realizing that every hour, every minute, and every second was worth it because you did it together. Hold on to each other, hold on to God's and change your hand. Continue to be who you are, shine the light that you have shined, at, you know, up to this point. And I'm, I'm more than honored and blessed to be a part of your, your life. All right, toast to it.
we came across this poem and wanted to share it with all of you on this special day. Fall in love with the art of living. Fall in love with letting things be. Fall in love with listening. Be still in the sun where the winds ever gently blow. Knowing it is here in moments like this, you are living and you will grow. Michelle and Jeff, thank you for being such a genuine and honest, beautiful example of what love can be. We wish you a lifetime of happiness and continuing to grow together through all of life's wonderful journeys. We love you both so much. Let us toast the beautiful couple. Love you. You did so beautiful. <laughs> 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 and I don't know. No problem. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>